My name is Hubert Baumeister and in this screencast I show you how to create a document style WSDL with the NetBeans WSDL wizard. The difference between RPC style WSDL document and uh, document style WSDL document is that the binding section is different. With RPC, the WSDL document does not completely describe how the SOAP uh, body looks like in an XML schema. Instead, it relies on the convention that the operation name is used and the, from the messages, the parts are used to create uh, the SOAP body XML. Document style, everything is under the control of the WSDL writer. So he has to create not only XML schema for the used data types, but also XML for the uh, SOAP body exchanged. And uh, in this example, I want to show you how to do uh, student registration document style. So first I create uh, the wizard document style and here I say student registration as the name stu and as the target namespace HTTP student registration uh, .ws. Now it's simplest to keep this as a WSDL document because we're throwing away anyway everything that is now generated or almost everything that is now generated with a WSDL designer. So we don't care for the operations now because as I said uh, we cannot use the wizard here as such because uh, we first have to define some suitable types and we cannot define the types in the wizard we have to have these types so we just say uh, and we, we unclick partner link types we just say finish get our WSDL body and then actually remove the port type and we remove the messages So, we first have to then start out with defining some types. And what we want to have is that the request consists of a request element together with an action sub-element telling that we want to register the student and then some student information. Uh, and for simplicity, the student information should be very simple, just the name and study registra re registration number. So we first have to create the types. We go to types and say add, we want to uh, not import a schema, but we want to inline the schema. And now we have to define the elements. Okay, so there are several ways of doing this. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do the very, uh, yes, the very uh, simplest way. So first I have to define a complex type, which is my student type. So I have student type here and I want to inline the definition of the student type and it should be a sequence and I say yes and now I can add to the sequence an element which in our case is the name of the student and now the name is an existing type and a built-in type of course it should be of type string. So we have the name and now we want to have the study number and we go click again student type here we say add it's again an element and we call it study number and is again uh, an existing type and it's a built-in type string 
and now we have a complex type defined for our student. Now we have to define our elements and the element is first uh, uh, the request element. That is the element that we want to have in the body message saying this is the request with an action field. So what we define is registration request or re just request and we inline again a complex type because it should be a sequence of action and a study uh, student information so we inline the complex type yes we add to the complex type the action field it's an element so it's action and we again use an existing type it's a built-in type of the string and then we want to have the student and the student now is again an element uh, again it's an existing type we have just created the type and it's one of the complex types we have just created and that's the only type here it's student type so the request is an element which has a sub element action and a sub element new element of course I should change this so I will refactor and rename it because we want to call it student so now we have the request and we need to also get the response now the response is a student object uh, so we have to create a new element for the response which we just call student and again it uses an existing type it's a complex type and it's a student type so we want to just return a student with the registration number filled out now we have our types for the request and uh, or sorry our elements for the request and our elements for the return now we can create a, a new port type and use the wizard and we can uh, a student registration we we'll call the port type and the operation we want to have is register student it's a request response type now we have uh, uh, one input which is the request so we call it the request now here it can we can put an element or type now in the document style uh, it's only possible to use an element here so the problem is that we are going to be offered both types and elements so if we choose the type instead of an element we get a different beast so we need to go to the elements and click on request because that was the request element and on the result we have the student coming back and again we have to make sure that we have an element here and that is the student element that we want to get back again we don't want to generate partner links automatically and this is done now we have generated a port type and messages and you can see that we have an input it uses message student registration operation request which is here and this one here we can see this better here in the property field we can see uh, the request so it's a name request and here again it's element or type you have to know what this request means that this refers to an element so this is actually better seen if you go to the source view then we can see here our message and here we can see that the message part has an element and not a type this is very important to make sure if you have document style then you use an element here if you have RPC style then you use a type here so now creating the binding we use the binding wizard here we say add binding and service port and actually now we get an error message here 
which says that uh, according to uh, the WSI basic profile rule, uh, you should use RPC literal style only together with the message part being type. Thus, if we have used message part being element, this reminds us that we have to change here to document literal. And if we have done this, then this uh, message goes away. Of course, we want to have add binding and service port and say yes. And we have created the document style WSL that then can be used to create uh, service stops uh, or implementation stops for a service implementation.